Hey folks, it's Rithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Green Hell. Now, we've got two traps right here. And we had an armadillo running around like a lunatic yesterday. But he kept going either side of our traps and not going through the traps. Now that trap there I think is actually in the wrong place. I want to put a line of traps all the way along here. And then I'm hoping... That, well, I suppose it doesn't need to be a line. We, we can just build some more. But yeah, I, they're in the wrong place. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add new traps. We're going to put more traps in. And we're going to make sure that these armadillos are not able to get through. Why is this reset? So we've got unknown herbs, calming effects, uh, unknown fruit, hydrations, kills parasites... Lots of unknown mushrooms, unknown fruit, fruit, uh, herb right there, and then unknown fruit kills parasites. So parasites are very easy to cure. As long as we keep eating them, we could actually do a whole load of, you know, just drink from the river all the time. It's ne never going to harm us. Uh, stick fish trap there. We don't want that one. So it's the snare trap that we want. We want this one right here. Um, I want to rotate this one round like that. I'm going to put it as close to that one as I can. Let's try putting it there, and then I will get another one, which is going to go this side like this. Well, it would, except that it doesn't fit, so let me um, rotate that one round a bit. Ah, I see, right. Can't quite go too, I can't go too close to it. See, that's not going to fit very well. It'd be better if it was up like that there. If I can put that one there like that, and kind of want to move it that way a bit. There, I think that's that's the closest point that I can get. So then, anything it goes through is going to go through the trap, and it is going to trigger that trap. And then we got one more here. I'm going to leave that one a minute. I'm going to set another one over on this side. And that one's going to go sort of up in this little gap right here. Take that one. That one's going to go there. I'm actually going to bring that one up a little bit. Rotate it round. Let's try dropping that one in here. Let's, let's, let's back it up a bit there. That's better. Right, so we've got a load of those in there. The armadillo will probably spawn in just a second. We're going to run down here and we're going to grab some of these. We want, uh, well, we've got three traps, so we're going to need six of these logs. The armadillo is probably going to spawn just while we're down there, up next to our house. No, he's not. Right, at the moment, we're armadillo-less. No, uh, oh, hang on, I've got another one of these and can't around. Let me get rid of that one. There. Go and get another, and then we've got to get some small logs, uh, the, the, the long ones, the long thin ones. We need three of those all together. One of them is going to be easy enough. I actually need food. I need to have a look and see what sort of food I need. Uh, put those in there. Right. Let's have a look. Oh, water. It's been raining continuously for hours and hours and hours. And I'm slowly dying of thirst. That makes perfect sense. That That is something that only Frithgar could do. Uh, let's go over here because I've actually laid a load of these out on the ground over here. Ready for the dry season. There we go. Right, now let's have a look. Are we full? That's more like it. Okay, so I now need three long sticks. I've got two that I can get from this one. And then there'll be another two that I can get in just a minute. We're also going to need lots and lots of small sticks. So we'll chop that one down there. And I'm going to cut down another one immediately as well. Where? There. 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 There we go. Chop you down as well. That's going to be the three long sticks that we need for this little project. There we go. And also a load of the small sticks as well. So we take that one and that one down there. And we put you into there. And we put you into there. And we put you into there. Then we put the stick in there and that one in there. I'll pick that one up. Um, the ropes. Okay, ropes is going to be a bit that's going to take a while. I'll put some of these small sticks in. I can immediately start picking up some of these small sticks as well. 
because I got some right there. There we go. Swap some of these over. There's two ropes. There's another rope. There's a small stick. Ah, we want another rope. Right, I got the big sticks. They can go in. So let's take these. I've got some small sticks lying around here, but I don't have that many. There. I've probably got enough to keep us going. It's the ropes that are the most time-consuming bit. We need, like, eight ropes for each of these traps. Uh, okay, let's go around this side. And then, in theory, we should have a trap that is going to catch an armadillo. I would very much like to catch this armadillo. He has been wandering around our camp. I mean, we, we caught a whole load of them in the last episode. We caught two of them, and then there was another one that was wandering around still as well. So I'm hoping that we'll be able to get more still when uh, they'll, they'll all turn up. And every, everybody be happy. So we've got five ropes there. I put in a load of small sticks like that, and rope, rope, small stick. Final rope there. So there's one of them. Let me see if we got any bait. The unknown fruit. We'll try that one. So I'm trying different things in here. How much is how much is left on that one? That's got eight hours. That's fine. It can stay there. Um, I've got a small stick there. Have we got any more? The bigger stick there. Right. And those I'm not worried about. No, I need I need to get ropes now. I need to collect lots of ropes. So we've got some here. And then on to the next tree down there, there'll be a few more. So we get those, and we can come and take these. That's, I've only got three so far. Right, we're going to be using an awful lot of ropes for this little job. So I think it's eight ropes for each tree. Um, the big trees, you just get the ropes off of them. That's not a problem. So there, we can go down to here. Now we can start putting in... Some, oh, uh, I need more small sticks. Right, well, I got I got more sticks up here. There's a stick. Makes eight of them. And you, it's the small sticks that we want. Well, I can actually just harvest some of the other ones. I've got lava there, larvae, lav larvae, la larvae, um, lava. Just just call it lava. It's it's just easier. And I guess most of, uh, three, one, I have zero of two. Right, I do need more small sticks. I I had a load here. That there were some here when I chopped this down. So there should be more small sticks here. There are not, though. There are no more small sticks. Oh, there's one. I don't really want to use my store of small sticks because I've only just filled the store up. And I don't really want to go emptying it out again. It, it, it just feels wrong to go and do that. That is not the way that we're supposed to do things. So let's take you. We've got um, some more lianas there. That makes six so far. i got one there. And cutting down those trees, you get more lianas that just drop onto the ground. Uh, I don't need to worry about that for a minute. Right. We, oh, there we go. We've got a whole collection of small sticks right there. Grab all of these. And that, that, that should be all the sticks that we need. I don't think we need any more sticks than that. Uh, Leanne, if I cut that one down, I'll get the Anna's. I've got more graviola here, or sour sop, depending on what you want to call them. There we go. Get that Liana. That one. That makes nine. That'll make ten ropes down here. What's the bed in that we've already got? There's the armadillo right there. I need to finish making these traps a minute. There. Right, that one's finished. Come over that way. Don't go in there. He's run all the way round and disappeared off down the bottom. He came to go through just that last little bit. He wasn't. He's, he's ab adamant that he isn't going to go through there. Right, I'm going to load these up with graviola because i got loads of these. Um, I'm also going to eat a couple of these. There. Um, but yeah, he, he ran all the way round. So they're, they're, all, they're all set. They're all ready. Where did he go? Where did the little brute go? He's been running away from me for ages. We had this in yesterday's episode. I've got loads extra now. There should be no reason that he can possibly get up through there. Where is he? There he is. Sure I don't... 
Okay, if, if they've either changed the sound of the spider or there was ten spiders there. Either or, I don't like it. Now, what happens to the armadillo? I'm hoping he went back up there. I'm going to ignore those spiders for a minute. That sounded genuinely terrifying, that bit did. Let's go up here. There he is. And he's going up too high. I need him to come back this way towards the house a little bit. So that he goes through my line of traps. There he is. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. He's, he's, going, he's going through there. He's coming back this way. He's going to go all the way up round them. As soon as I go towards him and I spook him, he's just going to go right the way round them and he's not going to go through the trap. Seriously! Go through... I want to see the trap spring. It's adamant that I'm not allowed to watch this trap go off, isn't it? It's absolutely adamant. It's not going to let me spring that trap by myself. I, I, it's not fair. I want to see the trap spring. I'm going to have to build some more. But he, he went right round the tree that time. He was not going through that trap at all, was he? He was, he was not having it. Maybe I should build a wall. If we build a wall to go around the outside, maybe that will, like, encourage him to stay um, and go through the trap. So the trap is the only option for him. I don't know. We'll sleep on it. We're running low on energy anyway. So let's let's get some sleep. There. 2.44. I wish that the daytime would stay a little bit longer so we didn't have so much nighttime on each end. It'd just make life a little bit easier for us, that's all. I mean, it's not, it's not a huge thing. Um... Right. Is the armadillo out here? Well, I don't see him. Let's grab some of these sticks a minute. And... Right. Now I've got spoiled fruit everywhere. You've got five hours left. So I'm going to eat that. I got a, a larvae down there on that one. Which is protein. I got spoiled fruit there. Oop. Ah, I got spoiled fruit there. Okay, I'm going to leave it as spoiled fruit, and I'm not going to worry about it. I am just going to have a drink here in the moonlight, like this. Drink all of those, and what have we got now? I want proteins, and I want fats. That's what I need next, protein and fat. I'm going to gather up some timber, so that I can get the fire going again. And I'm also going to... Oh, I don't want the long stick. Throw that one down there for a minute. Um, I'll gather up some of these and I'll try and make some soup with them, I think. They'll do me for now. But they don't have any fat on them either. Which surprises me because, um, lava do actually have a decent bit of fat on them. Um, if you're, if, like, the amount of protein that you would get from them, you'd get a similar sort of quantity of fat from them as well. Or for, from a lot of them, anyway. Um, because... Yeah, that's, that's just one of the like the great things about them in a survival type situation. At least as far as I know. I've never been in a survival situation myself, so I'm only really going on what other people have told me, like, you know, Ray Mears and, and so on and so forth. But um, I'm pretty sure that is kind of how it works. Now, we need to do a very quick inspection. We have somewhere on our person something nasty. Oh, there. I can, I can see them there. There we go. One, two... Uh, three, four, five. Lots of the little devils. So now we go into here and we will just very quickly drop a few more sticks into the fire. And then it's still raining. It's raining continuously without stopping. So, so far I've not been able to decant anything into my, um, out of that one into a coconut bowl because we still have rain underneath the shelters. I do hope that they remove the rain in the shelters at some point soon. Oh, great. Uh, what happens if I harvest those? What do I get? Is it maggots? Lava. Oh, right. Right. Uh, destroy that and destroy. And then I got all of these mushrooms as well that I no longer want. Yeah. Destroy. If I... Can I... Oh no, just destroy. 
We just go like that. Destroy each of these. All the way through. Keep destroying. We are the destroyer. Okay. Destroyed that lot. I will eat that one there. Just so that we've got that one done. And then we want to get some stuff on the fire. That one's got cassava soup in it. These others don't have any soup. So what I'll do, if I go there, I can put these coconut bowls of water up onto the rocks like this. Uh, I got that one there as well. But I can't actually pour anything into the bowls at the moment. Because if I put them on the ground, they immediately get water in them and they don't let me pour other stuff in. Which is a little bit of a nuisance. I'm getting a bit frustrated by that. But this continuous rain, it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of stopping us from doing anything. It's, although... Can I do it from there? I can. I can do it like that. Okay, so then I got the... Cause I just need to have them in the fireplace, that's all. That's, that's all I needed to do is put them in the fireplace. I can bring this one over here, look, and I can just sort of move it, drop it there. Then you, I can pour you back in there. Cassava soup, 30 or 40 energy. I can put you back onto there. This one here, I can drink that. And that one there, I can drink that one as well. So I get sanity minus two. This is this boosted my proteins up a bit. So we go over here, and next we've got that one's empty. So then, if I do that, I drop that one down. I'll um, yeah, I'll bring that one over there like that. Right. So the bidon there, I will scoop that one out into there, and that one out into there, and that one out into there. So that one is now empty. I will drop the bidon down here. Like that. Then we will take lava and we will put those into there and to there and to there. And then we can cook up our morning soup. There we go. And so that is taking care of the proteins that we need. Uh, we only need some fat now. There, we will drink all of those. So I can, I'm going to remove those three from there and I'm going to put them back down here again so that we've got... Um, the coconuts filling up again. Right, they're now filling up. That's all done. That's fine. That's all fine out here. So next, I want to get some coconuts. Because that's going to take care of fat. i got water, carbs, proteins. So I need to just pick up... Let's, let's take these coconuts over here a minute. We'll, we'll drop some of these down here. I'll put you down there first. Split you. Like that. And then... Just eat. Right, in order to best do this, I'll take it like that and then drop it. That will allow them to start filling up. So we've got lots of them filling up with water. I'll do the same here. I'll drop you down there and split you open again. Eat that one and eat that one. So there's another 40. Coconut half there. Coconut half there. Right, that was 40 fats, and that's pretty much it. I could possibly do one more coconut, and then I'll be all right. Um, I don't know where the armadillo's gone. So what I'm going to do a second is I'm going to walk down here, a little bit far away from the camp, and I'm hoping that he'll go back up by the camp. Somewhere down here, I've got 10 million spiders. I know they changed the sounds for some of these. But what... Oh, there. That is singularly terrifying, to be honest. The, the noise coming from that thing is, is genuinely quite a terrifying sort of noise. That, that is not the sort of thing that you'd want to hear if you were trekking by yourself in the jungle somewhere. And there is the armadillo. He has spawned over there. So that's going to push him through that little bit over there on the cliff. So I'm going to go round this way. He's not... He's going round. He is not going in there. I, maybe I ought to look at what I should be using for bait. So it doesn't seem... Look! No! Go through the trap! Do I need to do... Co I, I don't think he's going for coconuts. I don't know what he's going for. He will not go through the trap. I don't know why. 
look, if I go down here, see, um, actually, well, I've got that one there with a, a lava on it. I'm going to go further away now. I'm going to go over this way. I'm going to walk down, and we're going to see what happens if I go all the way down here. I'm going to go over here, all the way over near the water. I'm going to go further away still and come down here. Right. I'm now far, far away. I'm even going to go down here and I'm going to drink the water and I'm going to give myself stomach parasites, which is probably not the best thing to do because, um, eat that one and eat that one because I don't have any more mushrooms. Probably should have waited until I had the right mushrooms here because these I don't think are the right ones. Uh, that's not the ones that I want. Huh. I didn't think this through, did I? I, 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 I? I've got the wrong mushrooms here. There's carbs, but I'm not losing mush I'm not losing parasites. Ah, there we go. There we go. I knew I seen some more somewhere. There, I'll eat that one and eat that one. Right. Parasites are taken care of. No need to worry. Parasites are taken care of. Uh, but I've I've not yet seen is are there caiman in the game? I think it's Cayman down here, isn't it, in the, in the jungle? And um, are there actually any in the game yet? Has anybody actually seen them? Because I haven't. There's one thing I've yet to see. Now, last time we went down by that river, we came back up. <laughs> yes! So we cannot actually see these things being triggered. But if you go a little bit away from them, they all trigger. They all get set off. This is This is fantastic. But it's still raining. It's been raining for two days without stopping. I don't want it to keep raining. I want the rain to stop. Seriously, why won't the rain stop? Um, I'm kind of thinking we could just leave them there as like a living larder and feed them occasionally. Except that does seem a little bit cruel, doesn't it? <laughs> Look at them all. Look at all of the the, the, the armadillos. Uh, the, the problem is, I, I'd like the, the reason I want the light is because I want I want to be able to see these things a little bit better. Just 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 look at this. Five of them all lined up. <laughs> okay, well we know the traps work, and uh, it doesn't look like we're going to be able to. It doesn't look like we're going to be able to do anything with that one. Where is it gone? Um, are you going to do the same? No, uh, that one's just going to drop down there, so I can harvest that one. But that other one, that that one, that one's way gone. Yeah, so it looks like we're getting four or five on this. That other one, that one is that one's is, is really gone, gone. Um. What about you? You, you? you drop down. I can do you as well. We get that one. I'm going to go and put two pieces, these two pieces. We're going to get one piece of armadillo meat. Armadillo looks like quite a big creature, it's got to be said. Um, and so it does surprise me that we can only get um, such a small quantity of meat off of the armadillos. I need more. I need, I need some more sticks. I'm going to leave those two there for a minute. I will take that stick. I will take that stick with me. You can wait. Oh, graviola. This is good. Some more of those. There's more. Um. There's, there's there's more carbs, and also it means I can drink more river water. It's always good. If if I can go and drink toilet, it's, it's basically it's toilet water, isn't it? If I can drink toilet water, I'll be happy. That's all. That's all I ask for in life, really, is to be able to drink toilet water, and not suffer the consequences. So that is what it allows us to do. We have the graviola. We are allowed to drink toilet water. And therefore, we are one happy pup. Um, yeah, I just want a few more of these. I've got all of that wood stored up up there. And I still insist on coming down here in order to grab sticks. Just because I don't want to use up all of my store. Because then I'll only have to go and reload the store. Okay, we come back up here. And we'll put some of that in there. And that one. And that one, and that one. Let's put some of these small ones in. There we go. Right, we could go and make some soup. 
Oh, we could just put the raw armor. I'm going to put the raw armor dealer meat on. Just going to do it like that. Uh, put you up there. Okay. Then we're going to come back out. And we're going to get these other two. Chop you down. Please don't catapult off into the wild blue yonder. And we will harvest you as well. Where do we go next? We've got... Um, Capybara is still probably the best meat that we can get in the game. It's got loads and loads of fat in it as well. Whereas this armadillo meat doesn't have any fat in it. So it's, it's all well and good having all these traps lined up here. We cannot drive it through. We've got to go away from it and then come back to it. It doesn't seem to want to allow us to see the trap being triggered. I don't know why. I'm guessing that's something that's built into the game for, you know, for whatever reason. There, there, there's got to be a reason there somewhere. Um, it doesn't want us to see it. Now, we can actually put the meat still under the stones there. So we're, we're still able to sort of use both lots like that. Um, but where have we got... Oh! Oh! Do the trap, because I'm, I'm right next to it. Right, okay. Uh, nobody knows where the other armadillo has gone. That, that one could have gone anywhere. So we're not going to worry about that other armadillo. We, we'll, just, we'll just forget him as he, he was once among us, and now he is not. He's, he, is, he is gone. He's, he's passed on to a better place. Um, quite where that better place might be. It, it, it appeared to have been somewhere in outer space, um, possibly on the dark side of the moon. But it certainly wasn't anywhere around here. So we'll come down here. We've got... Is that a frog down over there? Did I see a frog down there? I did. There's a frog there. Can you get that frog? There. What a shot! Look at that. Take the cane toad. Right. I'm wondering if I can find capybara somewhere along this river. Catching fish is easy enough. Actually, there may well be some fish up this way. We go up this way, and we'll have a look in our trap here. Piranha. No space. Okay. Expand. Harvest. I'm sure I can harvest the piranha. There we go. Fish bones and one raw piranha meat. So we go. I'll leave that trap there. I should make some more traps. I should do some more fish traps. And we could have fish in our diet as well. Um, it's... Oh. Great big log there. One of the ones... Ah, we've got a long stick there as well. You know what? I'm going to put the log down here. And I'm going to get that long stick. Where is it? There. It's one that we launched off into space. Many moons ago. And then we couldn't find it. Mind you, there have been several of those. Several such examples of that um, particular mishap. The armadillo meat should be cooked by now. There's another long stick there. Let's come up this way and we'll drop both of these long sticks down here. We do actually need to make a long stick storage. But I haven't worried about it too much yet because we haven't had very much need for it. So we've got armadillo meat cooked there. Cooked meat there. Cooked meat there and... Cooked meat up there as well. How am I... Oh, actually, I've got piranha meat. There, we'll cook that one. A cane toad here somewhere. There. Harvest. So I get the cane... I get the, the, um, the meat from the cane toad. There we go. This, um... The raw meat there. Put that one up there like that. Uh, right. Let's have a look. Protein, a little bit of protein, a little bit of carbon, a little bit of fat. Well, we know that the armadillo meat, that only gives us, what? This, oh, it's 44 protein. That's not bad. We get some carbs from one of these. We'll have one of those. And we will eat one of those as well. So that's pushed all of that right up. Fat is the only thing that we don't have up maximum. And the piranha meat, I, the toad doesn't give any fat. But the piranha meat here, we've not actually eaten that yet. Switch that one around there. Okay, so we've not eaten this before. Let's eat that and see what happens. 22 protein and 10 energy. So there's no fat on the piranha meat. I very much doubt we're going to get fat off of any of the um, fish. We might. 
But I think capybara is, is the main one for getting fat off of that. So I want to try and find where there are some capybaras and then put up some traps. So we've got the two types. We've got the killer trap. We haven't actually built the killer trap yet. We've got these traps here. I'm not going to bother resetting those just yet. We will reset them, but I'm not going to do it yet. I want to go and find where the nearest capybaras are. There's got to be some capybaras somewhere. We've got mountains of sticks here. So tell you what I will do. I will just reset the number of, uh, like, re sort of reload some of the sticks and stuff that I'm carrying around. Um, I'm full on small sticks. Yeah, that, that'll keep me going for a bit. Uh, before I go off in search of the capybara, um, I'm thinking that we could build some fish traps down here. Those require a load of sticks. Going to leave that for a minute. And I want to try and find where... Oh, there's some bananas. Right, well, there's some... Oh, that's just that's just more carbs. It's the, the nuts around these palms in particular. Is it those palms or is it a different set of palms? I thought it was these. I don't see them on the ground anywhere. Yeah, see? Ooh, eggs. Again, I think those are just carbs rather than anything else, but there's there's four no, it's um there's proteins in those, isn't there? Uh right. Well, that'll do. We've, we've got a whole load of eggs in there. Um, we need to be on the lookout for some capybara. You are just carbs. I've got loads of carbs, so I don't need to worry about that. It's, it's the fat. It's the supply of fat. That's my biggest problem, isn't it? So if I find capybara, I'll be able to do something with that. And, yeah, so I don't need to worry about that. Um look here the rainy season is upon us which is why it has not stopped raining at all for the last couple of days it is a little bit of a nuisance but i mean i don't i'm, I'm i guess i'm there capybara right if i've got a capybara there i might be able to take him down with a spear okay now he's running away he's run away a long way right in which case, pick that back up again. Uh, if there's going to be a capybara here, I think we should try building one of our traps. We'll build a couple of them here. Um, because I want I want to see a live trap. We've I, I've seen the dead trap in action, but I want to see a capybara in a live trap. So we're going to go for a snare trap. And it was around this area here. So all I want to do now is build one of these. Where can I build it? Where can I build the snare trap? It's not going to let me do it, is it? You're seriously not going to let me build one. I'm not... I, ooh, actually, I think it's this palm tree here that I want. Um, okay, there is the capybara. Will it let me... No. Why won't... Did it, did it change colour then? No. Why can't... Oh. Right, it's it's letting me build it there. Right there. It's letting me build it in that point right there. So we need to just very quickly... Um, cancel that. Chop this one down. I should be using the knife to cut this down. Um, I can't... I don't want to... Oh. Yeah, expect... Pick up. Great. I want to... I want to... I want to destroy them. I don't want to do anything else with them. I just want to get rid of them. Okay, let's bring you over here and dump you down there in a heap. There are people down there. That's even worse. I don't want people. I don't like people. People are mean to me. So we're going to try and build a snare trap right here if we can. Hopefully the people won't come up and interfere with it. Uh, snare trap. There. Right. I want to rotate that one round and I want to build the snare trap sort of like that. There. Okay. I now need to go and cut down a tree. 
This is the one here that allows... I think it's this one that does the, the palm nut things. They're not here. Um, there. You're first. You're going to get me the two logs that I need. At least I'm hoping you will. And then you'll also get me the long log that I need as well. So I need to cut down that one. Where's it gone? Right, there's... That's a stick. There's one log. Where's the other one? Ah... Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. It's supposed to be... Please don't have gone away. Please don't. Why do you have to do this to me? I, I, I felled you right there for a reason. You were right next to where I needed you to be. I didn't need you to be millions of miles away. Okay? You didn't need to launch yourself off into <clears throat> outer space this time. Yeah, I can hear the people that way. I'm not going that way. People seem to be coming through. I hope they don't. I hope they stay away from me. Oh, there's the capybara over there. I'm going to ignore that one. I'm hoping that he will go into my special spring trap. I'm also giving up hope of finding the other log. He went that way somewhere. All right, let's just chop down another one. We'll find another one eventually there. Right, so you're going to come down here and... Ah, that was nice and even and, and, and fairly simple. So we want to run back through here this way. There's a long stick somewhere. I drop you in there. And then I go back through here. And... Where did that tree go? There's another log. Should be a long stick. Oh, there. There is a long stick. And I've already got ropes and small sticks and everything. So I'm hoping I've got everything else I need in order to make this one. We've got sticks there and a stick there. And then we've got a couple of ropes in there. Then we've got a whole load of these sticks. Rope, rope, rope. Small stick. Rope. It's done. It is done. Now, what does a capybara eat? Maybe they will eat one of those. I'm, I'm going to bait it with that one. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk down this hill so that I'm far enough away so that he should sort of spawn. I'm going to go all the way down here. And hopefully then the capybara will spawn in and he will set off that trap. At least that's the theory. We'll have a look down here on a fish trap and we'll see if we've got any more fish yet. Maybe we've got another fish. We have a peacock bass in here. I don't have enough to do there, but I can take it out a little bit. I can harvest it. There we go. Lots of fish bones. More fish bones than I can shake a stick at. Uh, cane toad meat there. I don't really want to eat that raw, but I, I will eat this one. There. What have we got? Fat. We're still wanting fat. And fat. A load of feathers there. Fat is mostly off of those... Like, if we... There's a capybara right there. Have I got a capybara up here? I have! I've got a capybara in my trap. It worked. Ideal. Right. Cut you down. There, and we harvest him as well. So, we know that this one works. Next up, we want to build the killer traps. But we'll be doing that in our next episode. And those just kill them outright rather than having them hanging there like that. We've got bones here for bone meal, which would be a good idea if we could take some bones with us. Uh, you're not going to fit, but I don't know what that herb there does. Carbohydrate and food poisoning. Well, we know it gives food poisoning. Um, so let's chuck that one down and take the bones instead. Like this. See, I've got several of these you up in here. Um, is that it? Just two bones at a time? Alright. Coconut bowl up there. Put you in there. Put you in there as well. Right. The unknown herb can come back this way. And then in here I've got capybara meat times three. Plus I've also got the fish meat there. Um, there's another capybara. I'm going to leave that one. So we can we could brew up a bit of bone soup and we could put that into one of our things. Um, I can eat that one as I'm running through. 
And we need to, yeah, so we've got uh, stuff to brew up now. We've got things, a lot of stuff to cook. And uh, a few other bits and pieces to do as well. We've made the traps. We've caught loads of armadillos. Absolutely loads of them. And we've also caught a few extra bits and pieces as well that we wanted. Next, I would also like to build a few more comforts here. Such things as... Actually, I, I didn't want that one to go under there. Never mind. We'll, we'll put, we've got that one up on top. We've got an egg that will go in under there as well. Uh, you can cook five things at once on this fire. Um... Yeah, I'd also like to build the smoker, but that's going to require uh, bamboo stuff. And that's a little bit more involved than what we've got at the moment. So this... Oh, we get fat. Eggs give fat. Eggs give fat. That's okay. I'll eat up that one. Minus two parasites. Did I have two parasites? Or does it just do that anyway? I think it just does it. Right, we'll take you there. And I'll put that one in. So we'll very quickly process these eggs. And then we've got a little bit of meat to do as well. And that's going to be it. That's, 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 um, we're done then for today, I think. And I think, personally, I think we've done very, very well. I think we've, um, we've had a success, a decent successful day. Uh, let's drop that in there. So that one, peacock bass meat is unknown at the moment. I know what I get from the armadillo meat. All right, well, let's eat that one a minute. 27 protein and 10 energy. So not loads, but still pretty good. There, we take that one. Uh, but no fat. Again, the distinct lack of fat. That is the biggest problem we have, is that we don't get the fat from them. Whereas, I mean, the eggs we get fat from. There, and fat is the only thing we need at the moment. We need protein and fat. So if I eat that one there, and I eat that one as well. And that one as well. I've left two eggs. I My fat is up pretty much to maximum now i've got these here they got one day in 17 hours i would really like at some point somebody did say that they might be adding this in um the smoker smoking meat so that the meat actually lasts a lot longer um i don't know if it's going to be a thing though i don't know if that's actually a thing or not or whether it's just kind of you know people being hopeful i think it might be people being hopeful but uh you know Hope is a good thing. We, we can always hope for that. Uh, now, what have we got? 68 protein and 20 fat from each of those. So the capybara meat has got loads. And then this obviously is just proteins. And, um, yeah, we've got some more fats down there. So capybaras are the ones to go through for go to for fats. Then we got the bone soup there. So I'm going to put the pot of water up on there. And I'm going to drop in a bone. It's going to make us a bone infusion. Cassava soup there. Uh, that bidon is empty, so I can... Actually, that bidon there, I can fill that one up. This is minus 30 hydration, the, the pot there. So I'll, I'll drop that in there like that. I put that one back up, and then I fill that one up there. We put down the coconut. I do that, and... I do that as well. So we've we've got the coconut in here. I drop that down, and drop that down as well. There we go. So we've got the pot of clean water. I put another bone in there. So over here, I've got 30 of 100 hydration in there at the moment. I'm going to take that one, and I'm going to drop it up there. Five hydration. I'm going to drink that, that um, clean water there. This one here is going to go in there like that, and then that pot is going to go back up there. Put you up there like that. I don't want the turtle shell in here. The turtle was good eating. I do remember that. It's good eating from that turtle. Right, we do that. And then we bring the coconut shell down here. Right. Uh, so I got an empty coconut shell there. That's got 60 hydration in it at the moment. There. So we've got 10 in here. We've got the bone infusion. Drink from there. 15 protein, 10 fat, 10 hydration. That is more like it. So we, we get a lot from that one. So we've got this nice clean water again. And we'll get the bone and we'll drop that one in. Right, th anyway, th we really have run out of time. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. I'm going to tip that into there like that. And I'll put one more up there. So we've got 80 in there. If I... Uh, I'll worry about that in a minute. We'll, we'll do that another time. 
Um, we've got masses of food now. We've got everything that we could possibly want. Plus, we've caught capybaras and we've caught armadillos and we've, we've caught absolutely everything. So we know that all works. Killer traps. It's going to be our next thing as well as a smoker. I want to build a smoker back here. Plus, I need a new log stand as well for the narrow logs. Um, and yeah, get into the comment section. Let me know, are there any crocodiles, caiman, whatever you want to call them, anywhere around here? Am I able to find one? If so, we need to find one. That's got to be our next task, really, isn't it? If, if they exist. Anyway, until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.